So Heiko is the managing director of Vucato Marketplace, and he has been uh, since 2018. Uh, before that, he was uh, uh, he held some uh, very key responsibilities uh, in China for the Vert Group, uh, managing sales, marketing, e-commerce, and being specifically responsible for developing the e-commerce business and the digital transformation over there. And uh, so um, Vucato is a good example of what we uh, mentioned earlier, um, uh, a B2B uh, platform marketplace being uh, created by a corporate. So in this case, the Vert Group based in Stuttgart. And is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's a fully owned uh, so, uh, company uh, by the, owned by the Vert Group. And so, uh, uh, Heiko, you're going to talk to us about uh, the uh, very uh, <laughs> difficult balance to strike between corporate structure and agility um, so that you've experienced and you are still experiencing uh, in Vucato. And uh, um, just as a you know, one-liner, Vucato is uh, uh, refer revolutionizing, oh my God, full <laughs> mouthful word, revolutionizing and optimizing the procurement process of customers uh, in the SME and industrial sectors. So um, with that, the floor is yours, Heiko. Can you hear me? Yes. Well, yes. All right, perfect. So, uh, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I'm happy to be here today. Uh, shall I just continue or I have 20 minutes left, right? You go on, yes. Uh, I, <laughs> on my tryout, I need 50 minutes. So relax. <laughs> we, we're going to try to keep a little bit of time for Q&As at the end if, uh, um, you know, if yeah, you yeah. manage to. Uh... <laughs> Thank you for inviting me to this fantastic b 2 summit and congratulations and thanks to the previous speakers uh, for their uh, yeah, exciting insights. Um, before I start, you see a tree behind me. This is this is not a real tree. It's a fake one out, made out of plastic. I'm here in a room in Stuttgart. It's called Marketplace, as our platform is called. And Marketplace is the largest room in our office uh, where people meet each other like a real marketplace out there. But the young people, we have an average age of uh, our employees of about 30 years. So they are not very good in taking care of real plants. So we choose a, a plastic one. My name is Heiko On. I will take you uh, through the Vucato time starting from 2015 until today. So buckle up a bit. I will be very transparency if possible and uh, show you also our challenging, our learnings we had out of this. Bucato Marketplace is a corporate startup of the Brit Group. Um, also startup is maybe not appropriate anymore because we are already quite mature. We are 10 years old, um, but we stick to our uh, startup uh, mentality to our startup dynamic. We stick to our young spirit and especially to our startup culture, which is different compared to the companies within the group, the traditional companies. It's not better, uh, that's not the meaning, it's just different. And this is also a challenge. Building up a startup, you can build up your own culture a little if you have the freedom to do so. The last 10 years, have been fast paced for sure and the next 10 years won't be any slower, especially for B2B platforms. Um, they, they are positively influenced by customers and by suppliers, by employees in terms of uh, uh, economic systems, uh, technical issues. Um, we have to adapt constantly on the market situation. Uh, when I look back, uh, uh, to 2018 when I joined Vucato, uh, we had uh, a lot of obstacles like stuff turnover, technical issues, no real suppliers, um, not the uh, important number of articles available and so on and so on. And um, we will see where we are today and the next 10 years will be um, 
challenging as well. I mean, we are now in the AI uh, responsibility and uh, supplier uh, law responsibility, and we have to uh, cover legal issues and so on and so on. I will show you how big the current market stay, uh, landscape looks like in B2B e-commerce in Germany. This is only Germany. So it is uh, uh, very large. It's 430 billion euro in B2B e-commerce. In the year 2018, it was only 118 billion, only, uh, nice to say. 110 billion, roughly, um, is made by marketplaces in Germany in B2B e-commerce. So B2B platforms growing, uh, and this is an interesting figure here, growing uh, as twice as fast as single online shops. And this is because, in my opinion, um, due to the fact that this comfort, the experience in B2C uh, is also finding its way into the market in B2B. The customers, you know, when we, when we purchase from marketplaces like Amazon, like Auto.de in Germany, for instance, Zalando for clothes and shoes and stuff like that. Um, all this comfort, you would like to adapt on your company procurement department as well. And um, attractive to the suppliers are market uh, your marketplaces as well. I mean, imagine you are a regional supplier somewhere north of Germany and suddenly you connect with a marketplace you have access to customer all over Germany. You have access to new customer you would never have touched before. You have, but also risk such as you have competitors, you have price transparency, you have um, probably competitors taking your customers away. So a different situation for suppliers as well. 66% um, of our customers in B2B prefer a service-oriented customer portal um, for the digital procurement. And this is what we offer at Vocato as a marketplace. We offer with our uh, own sales team, like a, a service plus for the customers. The number of B2B marketplaces has doubled since 2020. And I don't know whether this is positive or not because um, building a platform is enormous effort. You have to hire um, specialists in different departments. You have to have a technical environment available. You need a lot of invest, the building, what we have here in Stuttgart, and so on, so on. This is, you need suppliers, legal uh, topics. Well, this is uh, not an easy undergoing to build a marketplace. So I wonder when I saw the figures that so many marketplaces have been open in the past years. Let me show you our journey since 2015 at Vocato. But let me start with why was Vocato actually founded in 2000 or why was the decision made in 2014 to open Vocato a year later on a customer example. Imagine you have you are one customer and you buy from five trade companies out of the work group, your stuff you need for your daily work, like screws, chemicals, hand tools, power tools, and so on, electricity products. So you actually buy from one group, but you, you have to place five orders from five different suppliers, which are belong to one family. You have to, you will receive several invoices from five suppliers, which are actually all belong to one group. You have five contact windows from five suppliers, which are actually belong to one group. So, and the customer, and um, this is so, so many developments in business life, it was driven by customers that uh, Vocato was founded as one-stop, one-shop solution. Because the customer asked us, how can we make this way a little easier for us to order goods from the word group? And how can you consolidate the orders and the invoices issued to us. So this was the foundation in 2015 and 2016. We went to live in January with an, yeah, let me say, uh, let me put it this way, an X large shop. Uh, probably this is a correct wording. 
we had uh, 12 suppliers uh, available at that time from the very beginning. 10 of them are belong to the root group, so sister companies. We never had this typical chicken and egg uh, problem because they already brought some customers to us. But this wasn't enough. The customer asked us to bring more or add more suppliers onto our platform for card because you know you do not buy only from root group companies. You also uh, need office material. You have long-term contracts with individual price conditions from suppliers uh, uh, somewhere in your region, and you want to have them on the platform as well to make this uh, uh, ordering process uh, uh, easier. So we decided in 2018 to set up a marketplace. Again, this was more demanded from customers as from suppliers, but uh, the setup was huge undergoing with a new technical environment. Um, we had to build uh, an additional team, more or less. In 2019, oh yeah, this is this is set up marketplace picture, yeah, sorry. So in 2019, I took over Lucato in December 2018, yeah, October, November, December 2018, and um, we just had to change from the X large top into a marketplace, but I was identifying that there was no branding at all at that time. But we, we were already four years running our business, right? When I came over from China, I was facing a lot of difficulties at that time. Stuff turned over, almost the whole team uh, 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 went out and we had to hire a new marketing team. We had to hire new uh, SAP managers and stuff like that. Not easy at that time, I'm perfectly honest. So we had to set up, first of all, a new brand. We had no market reach at all. This was also what I figured out. No brand existing and not very much sales after three to four years already. So then we hired our own sales team on behalf, and this is a, a funny thing, on behalf of uh, Professor Wirt himself. They said, hey, you have to hire your own sales team is on because they will push you forward. And um, this is a unique sales team, uh, uh, more than key accounts than sales reps. So we hired them in 2019, January, February, four or five uh, sales managers. And then we start really growing uh, fast paced. So we had a double digit, triple digit growth month by month, year by year until today. We gained new customers a lot and we also became more self-confident of course. And we had a brand while we went to trade shows and so on. In 2020, uh, let me put it in this way, what is good for our external customers must not be bad for our home group, right? So in 2020, the Word Group decided to use Vocato not only for external as external marketplace, uh, but also for the for the indirect procurement. In 2020, we had 75 companies within Germany and 25,000 employees around that. So they asked us to connect all companies within the German Root Group with Vocato, make access to all responsible employees so that they can purchase uh, the indirect products via Vocato and its suppliers. Um, it was and it still is an exciting project. I can tell you it's not always easier um, with your own family doing business than an external customers, right? But no more details to that. I mean, we started 2020, January, February, and I was asked by the management to connect first of all uh, uh, all pickup shops in Germany within five to six months. I mean, we're talking about 900 pickup shops uh, um, and around 3,000 employees who must have access within a few weeks. This was not an easy undergo. In 2021, we started long tail in the word group. And um, we are aware of many 
great suppliers we have and some companies within the group wanted to extend their product range for their existing uh, e-commerce customer. And with this, we have built a technical solution together with those companies to offer a part of our suppliers or assortment uh, via the online shop of some customers. I hope you understand what I mean. So if you type www.root.de and you are looking for an office chair, you will have a connection, a long-term connection to Vucato and the customer can buy this office chair via Vucato, take it into the basket of root.de and place the order. Very comfortable with a nice market price, um, I think this has huge potential, but we just started. And um, of course, this will also give us a lot of uh, indirect access to thousands of new customers. And probably some of them will also access to Vucato directly if they need an advanced solution. Vucato, a little more advanced, of course, than a long term solution. In 2023, uh, 22, we also opened our platform to small customers and medium sized uh, uh, um, uh, uh, customers. We call it Vucato Basic. This means that every customer has immediate access to Vucato and can cover their needs with a market price. So no individual price condition, but immediate uh, shopping uh, solution. And um, however, without support from our sales team, however, without support from any uh, uh, sales support team, this is just a uh, login, register, uh, um, uh, uh, save the price and place the order. Our experience we collected over the past years has made um, awesome, uh, has made us aware of the need for further services we provide to the group. And we've been asked many times by different companies in Italy, so also across the border, but also Germany a lot. Uh, can we can you support us by data care? Um, data care is more and more focused within the group, product data. Um, and, and stuff like that. And so we have a big team here located in Stuttgart with a lot of experience, although uh, the help we provide since 2023 to our uh, companies within the group group here in Germany and some also across the border. It's called Innovation Hub. So when I started 2018, there was only one sales channel called Vocato Professional and External Sales. So green is the external sales channels and the uh, light blue one is intercompany business. Year by year, we establish a new sales channel due to our ideas, due to the demand of customers and group groups and so on. So then CPARTS management started, which is uh, uh, the indirect purchasing of group group Germany. Vocato Extended is long tail, Vucato Basic, as I mentioned, is for small customers um, and uh, like still this XXL online shop and project data. We are now having 20 million articles available. If we take the punch out suppliers in consideration, we might have 40, 50, 60 million. It all doesn't matter. It all doesn't matter if the product data are shit. Shit in, shit out, right? You might all have the sticker on your laptops. So we decided very early, in a very early stage, that we will stick to a low number of suppliers. We could have had 700 suppliers. That's all nonsense if the customer cannot find the products because the product data are mess. So we decided to have less suppliers, the right suppliers, and well-known suppliers in Germany, which are the 110 in our opinion. We are probably number one platform in Germany, if we talk about the number of brands we provide to our customers with the 19 categories. So further to our journey. But success didn't fly like fried chicken in your mouth, um, is Professor Wood always saying, and this is still correct also um, back the years in Vocato. I mean, we have we have 7,000 sales managers or sales rep ADMs. You might know what I mean. In Germany, 7,000, right? The biggest sales force in Germany, very likely in Europe. And you have a fantastic solution like Lucato, a marketplace 
and our customer wants a marketplace actually because it's easy, it will reduce your processes, it will optimize a lot of processes inside the procurement department. Ah, oh, yeah, you have um it's belong to the group where you're working for, and so on and so on. And at the very beginning, we assume that sales would bring hundreds of customers to Vucato. Uh, but we realized uh, we had to build many bridges and lighthouses, what we are still doing until today. And we realized that we need, a, first of all, a supplier strategy, that we need a customer strategy, that we need an employer strategy. This was around 2018-19. As I mentioned before, was growing double, triple digit when we had our own sales force. So we didn't count anymore on 7,000 sales reps in Germany um, as we thought it would work out well. I will show you now some, some learnings in this regard, what we did back to, to the year 2018, 19 and 20 to convince more managers uh, within the group, group about Bucato to convince more sales managers uh, uh, um, uh, or sales reps in Germany to use Bucato for their own needs. And it's still not easy to convince them until today. We had a red light. I mean, when I had my first presentation at the top management board 2018 December, there was not much knowledge about e-commerce in terms of marketplace. E-commerce, yes, we are very good in doing e-commerce within the group, but not about marketplaces. The chances as well as the risk you have by using a marketplace. And what does it mean having Vulcato marketplace as a company, as a member of the group group and how to use them? So, and I decided to ask for an advisory board, what we established in 2018, to have really all top managers on board in one room, talk about e-commerce in terms of marketplaces, e-procurement platform, what is changing in the market, what are demands of customers, suppliers, and what is coming up the next years. And it's still existing. It takes place twice a year advisory board. We're around 25 uh, top managers in this out of the group group and other suppliers as well. We had a conflict, what I mentioned before, a conflict of interest with external sales teams. So we established our own sales teams. Imagine, I mean, this is very, very human being, right? There's a, a sales job in Germany. He is selling tools to a customer and screws and some chemicals. And now, He's been asked to bring this customer onto the platform, onto the marketplace, Vucato. He, he, will, he will never do this because he is always scared that some competitors with, which are on our platform will take his customer away. It's, it might sound stupid, but this is reality. This is human beings. This is thinking of most of the sales reps in Germany we have. So... This is changing a lot by different generations coming up, but there's still some are still scared to bring customers on Vucato as a platform. I mean, the competition is there anyway, isn't it? There's the competition is there with or or without Vucato. So restraint communication. There was some emails sometimes going out from Vucato into the group group about news and, and stuff like that. But then we, we, we uh, proactively communicated into the group by newsletter. We had e-learnings until today, um, uh, uh, magazines, so that we have a knowledge transfer month by month to all the sales managers outside there. We had no knowledge transfer, as I mentioned. And uh, when I took over Vucato, I went from company to company in Germany, suppliers, and I started training the sales reps in how to use Vucato, how to present Vucato at the customers, uh, taking fees away. In my opinion, it was too much for some sales reps. So we decided together that we really need key account managers who understand how this e-commerce works 
deeply at the customer side. What does it mean uh, uh, using an e-procurement solution? What does, and, and also a different payment system. This is also important. A different payment system uh, as a basic sales rep. Key account managers are differently paid most of the time. Um, next journey was next. Yeah, marketplace ambassadors. Yeah. So because we have this advisory board with this top management group, and you know, to the bottom it will be filtered a lot, uh, top down. And uh, when I realized this, I asked all the companies to nominate an ambassador for marketplaces. So all news in terms of technical um, developments we have here, um, new sales channel or new suppliers, or if we go to some uh, uh, exhibitions, we will inform the marketplace ambassador of each company so he can join, he can use this information on his own behalf. Am I still in time? I don't see it. Um we're gonna need to wrap up so because oh. I, I'd like also to ask maybe one question if somebody has got one question. So 30 minutes have already gone. Ah uh, yeah, time flies when you're having fun, right? <laughs> I have 20 more slides left. Oh good. <laughs> no. Shall I shall I finish with one slide? You you mean this one or another one? No, 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 no. no go monetization, on. monetization paid by customers, uh, paid by suppliers. And, but this is my last slide, the team. This is the foundation of Fukat. Great. Well, thank so. you very much. Very interesting. And I don't know if there are any questions in the chat that I've uh, missed. But, um, I, I mean, one question that uh, um, I... I know you touched on upon several elements where the corporate was um, uh, being very present. Um, would you say, if you summarize that being a corporate venture is more of an accelerator or that maybe it has more drawbacks that if you were completely independent, whether it's from a go-to-market perspective and sales, whether it's from a financing perspective, maybe recruitment perspective, because you talked about recruitment being, a, you know, an issue. Um, you know, what, if you could summarize this, what would you, how would you paint this picture? Yeah, of course, having a good group um, or this group in the background uh, made our life uh, easier um, in terms of recruitment, technical environment, uh, invest, of course, yes, it is easier. I mean, I mentioned during my presentation, building a platform is an enormous effort, right? Yes. Finding yes. employees, especially, I mean, Stuttgart, it's, uh, you have many e-commerce companies, there's also a talent war, uh, but I, I believe it doesn't matter if it's Stuttgart, Hamburg or Berlin or other uh, countries or cities. Yeah, you have to find the right employees and this is an expensive undergoing. Yeah, and I, I think actually it's um, uh, an element that uh, is interesting also for corporates uh, because when building ventures um, like this, you maybe attract um, new talent or, or, mm -hmm. or, you know, maybe younger talents or whatever that you might not otherwise attract within the core uh, business. So, um, yeah. yeah. It does mean it's less pressure being no. a member. So, I mean, you have some years to run your business, but then you also have to deliver at certain points.